everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. In today's video, I want to talk about what's available for us to mine with a four gigabyte graphics card today. So today is February 15th, 2022, and let's dive right into whattomine.com. So you can see I have the 1050 Ti selected. This is the four gigabyte graphics card that I have. And for the purposes of this, of this video, I'm not going to change any of the default uh, hash rates or power consumptions that uh, what to mine provides. Uh, again, I just want to go through this as a, a demonstration. And I also want to highlight that um, the same idea is going to be applicable to any four gigabyte graphics card, but your particular graphics card may uh, point you in a different direction. So for example, if we look at a 570 uh, RX 570 four gigabyte card, it's going to be a lot better at mining, say, Ergo, whereas the 1050 Ti is a lot better at mining Flux. So again, keep that in mind. Um, you know, plug in your own graphics card and you can follow the same steps that we're following here today. So I'm going to go ahead and hit calculate and let's see what we've got. So the first thing that shows up, and I am using a cost of 10 cents uh, for electricity. So the first thing on the list is Ciro. I don't know a lot about Ciro. Uh, I've done a little bit of research, but uh, Ciro is one of the lesser known projects right now and not one that's often talked about. And a lot of these other coins down here, you can see there's a lot of things that are still profitable, uh, albeit only a few pennies, but uh, there's still a lot of things you can mine with a four gigabyte graphics card. So if you want to see a video on Ciro or any of the other lesser known coins, um, please leave me a comment in the comments section below and I'd be happy to put a video together for you. So I wanna highlight and focus on some of the more popular coins for today. So you can see uh, we can mine Flux and we're making a 20 cent per day profit. I wanna come back to this nice hash, Zell hash. So let's walk through the list and then we're gonna come back. So you can see Ravencoin, we're still profitable at 16 cents per day, Ethereum Classic at 15, Aeon at 14, uh, you know, keep going down ergo at nine cents. So again, these are all still profitable for mining with a five or four gigabyte graphics card. So that's option one, um, you know, mine what you know, and just keep collecting, um, you know, keep collecting, uh, the coin, uh, option number two is mine an altcoin, mine something that's not quite as well known and may give you uh, a pop at some point down the road, right? So even with something like Flux, right now we're getting a profitability of 20 cents per day, but if Flux doubles or triples down the road in price, now this 20 cents per day becomes 40 cents per day or 60 cents per day, or maybe even more, right? And that's the whole point of spec mining is to try and accumulate as much coin as possible in the hopes that it'll pop someday in the future. Okay, so now I want to circle back and talk about this NiceHash Zellhash. About two weeks ago, NiceHash added the Zellhash algorithm um, to be able to be mined. And what this means is now I can take a 1050 Ti 4 gigabyte graphics card on NiceHash, mine using the Zellhash algorithm, which is currently the most profitable for my card. And instead of getting paid out in Flux, I can get paid out in Bitcoin. So this is something really appealing to me because as I had mentioned previously, one of my goals is to accumulate as much Ethereum and as much Bitcoin as I possibly can. And this meets one of my goals. This allows me to contribute and, uh, and help achieve one of my goals. So I did go ahead, I created a nice hash account. I have not switched a card. Currently my four gigabyte card is mining flux. Uh, I will be switching it over to NiceHash and testing this out. So keep your eyes out for a video on this in the very near future. So we've got the ability to mine um, well-known coins at a profit. We've got the ability to mine lesser known coins still also at a profit. We've got the ability to use NiceHash and optimize our Bitcoin payout depending on which card we have. And in the case of the 1050 Ti, it's using Zellhash. And then the next option we have is unminable. And I know a lot of people shy away from unminable, uh, particularly when it comes to a four gigabyte graphics card, but I want to highlight something here that I think is extremely um, important and maybe not quite very well known. I recently did a video where I showed you how to mine Matic or Polygon and get paid out on the Polygon network. 
Now, if you look at this, what you can see, if you're taking a payout on the Ethereum chain, you need 20 Matic to get paid out. Whereas if you are getting paid out on the Binance uh, smart chain or on the Matic or the Polygon network, you can get paid out with as few as three Matic. So if you are unfamiliar with Unminable and you look at these different options, so I'm going to use Kapow because the 1050 Ti is most efficient for me on Kapow and I can get about 6.2 mega hash on Kapow. So what this means, I can get 0.15 Matic per day or 4.5 Matic per month. And if I'm getting a payout on the Matic chain, which I showed how to do in the video, I can get a payout in just a few weeks. Whereas if I need 20 Matic to get paid out on the Ethereum chain, it's going to take me months. So again, this makes mining using Unminable with a four gigabyte graphic graphics card much more appealing. And if we go and look at the list of coins, uh, you know, and you don't want to look at the ERC 20s, you want to look at the BEP 20s. You want to look at the, uh, in this case, Phantom on the Phantom network, uh, SafeMoon on the BEP 20. Again, I don't know much about any of these, but I do know that this opens a new door. This uh, makes mining with a four gigabyte graphics card uh, more appealing, more interesting, and uh, gives us more options. So again, Shiba Inu, uh, you can get paid out on BEP 20 or a KRC 20. Uh, we'd already talked about the fact that you can do this with Matic. Um, you can do it and on Solana and get paid out on the Solana network. So there's a lot of other options out here than what you might think. So of course, you can always take that 1050 Ti, sell it, maybe make $150 on it, and maybe that's your goal, and that might be appealing to you. I'm not telling you not to do it. Nothing in this video is financial advice. Just really want to show you what's op what your options are. Um, I recently made a video where I said I'm not selling any of my graphics cards, and I gave you the reasons why, and I'm sticking to that. I have no intentions of selling my four gigabyte graphics card. It was a work workhorse for me on Ravencoin, and you know you can see here I got the Ravencoin flag. I love Ravencoin. Uh, after the having, the profitability went down, so I started exploring some other options, and that's what led me to discover all of these different alternatives. And I wanted to share them with you, the viewers. So again, uh, not financial advice, but there are options out there. So don't be discouraged if you're mining with a four gigabyte graphics card and your profitability is low. Um, explore other options, or as I mentioned, maybe you want to sell it, take that money and put it towards buying uh, a six gigabyte or an eight gigabyte graphics card. Uh, all of those are certainly viable options. So, all right. Well, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button, give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of future content. And again, keep your eyes open for some uh, future content on the four gigabyte graphics cards. All right. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you guys again real soon.